Hey guys, it's Kelly. I have so much to show you and talk about, so let's just get into it, all right? So, first thing I want to show you is I've been talking about how um, I only really have like four mirrors on my wish list. Well, I found one of them brand new, never used on eBay for only $15.50 with free shipping. So I just went ahead and purchased it. So um, the eBay seller wrote a hand little note that said happy stitching and thank you. So I ended up getting the Madonna in the garden. I just love this. I haven't gotten like the bead kit or anything for this and I don't know when. Do not win. No win. This will get started. I'm seriously about to get the hiccups right now. That's annoying. But so pick this up. Um, I'm really excited about it. It's apparently from 2004. So you know, kind of, kind of worried that I was never going to get uh, another opportunity for such a good price. So went ahead and bought this. So that is that. Um, another thing that I got this weekend and I got something really cool last weekend but it's a bit bigger so it's going to take me a minute to show you but my quilt guild was given this um stash to basically um unload and so um they let, you know, the ones of us that like cross stitch first, like go through and make sales first. Um, so yes, all of this stuff I did purchase. It wasn't given to me because I'm a cross stitcher. I am buying it. Um, but we are pricing things um, at like lower price than what this lady paid for it. But um, I don't know. Uh, we're going to try and sell some of it at our airing of the quilts in May. But some of it is just not going to sell there because people are coming for quilting, um, not, you know, just cross stitch or anything like that. So we're going to try and sell some of it there. But some of it, we're, we, we're a nonprofit organization. We do a bunch of charity work. We do scholarships and things like that for um, students in the area going off to college. Um so one goes to a math major and one goes to an FCS major. So really awesome things that we do. We make baby blankets for the pregnancy care center, the safe house, for, um, uh, I forget the actual program, but like cops and like firefighters have them for like the house burns down and there's a kid there. Um, that kind of a thing. Um, and we also make like walker caddies and like support pillows for like the nursing homes and such. So we do a lot of really good things. And so I'm trying to figure out a way and maybe y'all can leave me some comments down below. Either I do a video showing people things and the prices that we're asking and maybe we can do like a sale, like a kind of like a sale video or something like that. Or maybe do like a Facebook Live or something or Instagram sale or I don't really know. So y'all let me know what you think might work for that. There's some really good patterns. There's some like full out kits. There are some um, fabrics. There are some specialty floss and like the, the Mill Hill and like the other except like trinkets for like specific patterns and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, let me know what y'all think. So what I got out of this was, this is one of the items and this is Prairie Moon uh, by Prairie Moon and it's this witch pattern. And inside this kit, it does not come with the fabric, but it has the pattern and it has all of the little attachments for like the witch, like the hat and the bucket and like little spider webs and things like that. So basically I have the pattern and then the accessories. So I still have to get the threads and um, the fabric for it. But that's by Prairie Moon. I thought it was really cute. 
because I'm a, ho a Halloween person. Because I don't know if I've said that on here, but my birthday is two days before Halloween. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Halloween person. Um, this is another one. This is Island Cottage Needle Arts, and it's called Boo Boo Kitty. Um, it's a really, really cute little pattern of this cat and bat sitting on a pumpkin. And then you get this actual, like, witch boot frame with the pumpkins, and it's a thread palette. Although I probably never use it for my thread, but it is a thread palette. So that's another pattern. Then I also got this Lakeview Primitive Penny Paws. It's a bunch of little kitty cats. I just thought it was really cute. Comes with a button, so um, I also got that. Then I got this. This is from Alaska, Sitka, Alaska um, by Sitka Designs, and it's a totem pole pattern, which I think I don't know if I would do the same colors, but I love totem poles, and I'm part Native American, so um, I just thought this is this would be really freaking cool to do um, eventually. I just had a really fucking creepy noise. All right, so the next one I got is by Calico Crossroads called Kitty Litter, and it is this adorable little cat in a knitting bucket with, like, needle and thread and yarn and stuff in this bucket very cute it is an actual kit I don't know if I would use these same colors or this fabric but very cute the next thing that I got is that all that's left yes fabric is all that's left so I have this small piece, and like I said, I've never used um, linen or even weave for stitching, but I did get a small kit to test it out. So um, I have Hill pur Purple something um, over the Purple Road. I don't know. Over the Hill Purple Road. I don't know. This is apparently 27 count, and it's 11 by 12, but it's this really pretty purple really pretty. Um, I also got, this is a 27 by 36, 28 count antique almond. And I don't know the company, but it's a really, really nice hand dyed almond color. Then I also got this Meadow Rue Lakeside, uh, 19 by 22. And it's this really pretty, like, blushy, dusty, rosy pink color. Very, very, very pretty. And then this one, which I think would be perfect for the mirror whenever I get confident with stitching on linen, um, is Cashel Linen 28 Count in Light Amsterdam Blue. So, again, I don't know the company that dyes this, but it's a really, really pretty blue. Like, really pretty. So that's kind of my, like, stash. <laughs> I'm not going to tell y'all who that's from. Um, those of you that text me, like, on a daily basis, I've already told, I think, two of you maybe? One? Two. Two. Um, some very exciting things this weekend have been happening. So, pretty excited. Um, anyways. Um... I'm just, I'm excited. I have to write them back. I don't want them to think that I'm ignoring them. Okay. All right. So, anyways, my next really big, it's a really big item, guys. I don't know if I can get it, like, fully in the frame, but I had to sell tickets for our donation quilt two weekends ago. 
Um, well, not this week, the one before. So I guess by the time this is uploaded, two weeks ago. Um, at our rusty chippy antique show here in town and we sell tickets on Saturday for our donation quilt for our airing of airing of the quilts and I saw this and I loved it so I got it for organization for like my that month's whips kind of thing instead of my bucket back here although I've kind of discovered that I still kind of need that a little bit but this is like this is a beauty, guys. It's an antique accordion sewing box. It's so freaking cool, guys. So I still have some unused space in it. I still have, I have very much used space in it, but it's, uh, it's really nice. I really, really, really like it. So I just have to get in it for a second to get out some of my projects. Because this is also an update video, so I have totally gone awry from my March, what I, what I plan to do. And so let me just tell you, so today is the 19th. I know that I like never, I always say dates and then like it takes forever for the video to upload. So then I'm kind of like, well, you're watching this like days later, but the first like two and a half weeks of this month, I have kind of been like in a funk and kind of been depressed actually. Um, I'm finally out of that funk, which is really nice. Um, but a part of that funk was I didn't follow my calendar at all. And actually, I've kind of really been liking it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do ditch the calendar until May. I think I'm still going to do like my proposed idea of what I'm going to do for April um, but this month especially, I've just been working on what I feel like working on, and I've been working on things for, like, days at a time, like a whole week, which is normally not what I do. I mean, I do, like, three to four days for certain projects, so it's just been totally different. So the first week of the month, I was supposed to be working on Great Britain Sampler. I never even touched it. I worked that entire time on my, um... Charity SAL by Citrovia. That's just what I wanted to work on. So kind of ironic that that's what that chair, what this one's for, and I was having a hard time with it. So I got that much of have patience with it with all things, especially yourself. Um, I got that done on that one. I got a, a decent bit. I haven't started the third one yet because um, I finally did decide to just put it away. Um, but I do, I don't know. I've just been wanting to just, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I just, I haven't been wanting to work on things that like, I guess I've, I've kind of like said that I was going to work on. They just haven't been calling to me. So I just haven't done it. Um, so then I was supposed to work on my um, Frosted Pumpkin SAL and I didn't want to. So instead I worked on the second week. I worked on my mystery SAL by Linens and Threads, and I got almost March done, and I got more February done. January, I just, I don't know. I already know this is going to take me into 2018, and that's totally fine with me. It's just too many stitches, especially since this is 14 count, and I decided to do variegated. Like, it just is taking me longer on black fabric. Like, it just, bottom line. But it is going to be pretty awesome whenever it's finished. So there's the darker um, darker red to maroon up here. And then we have the brighter red to pink. And then we have the orange to like um, a peachy cream color. So it's going to look really awesome. Next month is a gold color. So I'm not disappointed with it. It just is going to take me forever in a day. Just saying. And I'm I'm okay with that. All right, so then I started working on my Frosted Pumpkin SAL, but I really didn't get a whole lot into it. But I did yesterday at Embroidery Bee get a finish, and this was on my schedule, so I ended up taking it because I knew, I just told myself, I was like, I could finish this today, and I did. So I got a finish. This is my Frosted Pumpkin Sleepy Hollow. He is done. 
So cute. I love it. And same as Adele. Fuck the alphabets. I didn't want to do it. Um, so what I am going to do on the same half of this fabric, but the bottom half, I'm going to do the Christmas counterpart eventually down here. Again, without the alphabet. And then I'll have this whole half of the fabric um, for another small project, which will be really exciting um, because this is a really beautiful fabric. Um, and don't, I know somebody's going to want to ask me what the color was. I honestly do not remember, but I did buy the kit for Sleepy Hollow. So it's whatever the recommended fabric was that's in the Frosted Pumpkin kit. And I feel like it's haunted, but I also feel like that might be wrong. But I did get that finished, so that's really exciting. So then last night and a little bit today, so far a little bit today, I have been working on my Frosted Pumpkin. I finally got February done and I've been working on March. And I pretty much got all of this done last night. Um, this red was today, but the rest of that was last night and I finished this last night. So I still have a ways to go to be caught up. Um, I'm not one that does the borders all at one time. I kind of wish I was one of those people, but I kind of just do them as you get to them. So um, my goal is to get this much done, but I don't know. We'll see how I feel. I might go into the part that says happily ever after. I may or may not. Um, the next one that I'm supposed to start working on tomorrow is Magical Creatures, and then Pin Pals, then Mary and Bright, then my Halloween sampler. I honestly do not know if that's the route that I'm going to take. I don't know because I don't, I just, I don't know. Um, I am having, uh, this month it's already like turned 180. That's kind of how like mine works. I get like in a funk for like a week or two. And then once I'm out of it, I'm out of it for a really good while. So I'm kind of out of it now, which is really nice. Some of y'all know about some things and some of you don't, but, um, anyways, even if you don't, it's fine. It's whatever. It's all good. Okay. It's, it's exactly what I said that it was. Um, but yeah, this weekend has been a lot of fun and I've gotten a lot done. And so I, let me know what y'all think about the de-stashing. Um, and what you, how you think I should do that. Um, if we have stuff left over, which I'm pretty sure we will. Um, I just, some of it's really awesome stuff and some of it's older stuff that you might not be able to find anywhere else at this point. So, um, just different, just really cool. So want to be able to share it with y'all and help raise money for my organization. Um, so just want to know what kind of route y'all want me to take with that for y'all. Um, also, I don't know whenever the next video will be. Probably, I don't know, there might be one in another like week. I don't know. It might be, I know I have two snappy kitchens that I'm going to release here pretty soon. I've got some more editing to do on them and some like intros and outros, but, um, I'm trying to think. This Thursday, I won't I won't be getting any stitching done. I'm going to Blink 182 at the Houston Rodeo, so I'm I'm very excited about that. So, um, I don't know, dead air. Um, yeah, that's what I have for you. I had some really fun stuff to show y'all and just some stuff to just talk to you about with my calendar and things like that and just kind of where I've been at the last week and a half. Um, so I hope everybody is having a great stitchy month and I hope that y'all are getting a lots of finishes. Um, some of these I might change out because I've, I've, I've kind of got like the momentum. Like I, I finished one and I have a couple that are really close to being finished. So I might just pull those out to get them done. Um, and all out, out, out of my hair. Um, so I don't know. We'll see what the rest of the month brings. Right now, I'm kind of enjoying catching up my Frosted Pumpkin SAL. So, um, just working on that. So, I hope that y'all have a great rest of the week. And I will see y'all very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.